Steve Bonner is known throughout the Pullman Moscow community as a stand-up guy. As the executive director of Sojourners Alliance, he works to help house the homeless and help those who have fallen on rough times get back on their feet. Incredibly, Steve's efforts are actually due in no small part to his past. Everybody deals with their different childhoods. Mine, my dad did not spare the rock. And you know, the labels that come along and you know, being stripped of dignity. And so alcohol and drugs were a way to escape. And so I'd have these pendulum swings where, like I started the Frisbee club on campus that now is in murals. And really a lot of it was to be accepted no matter what, it was never enough. When I was 18, I, I was ski racing in Squaw Valley and I had a chance to progress on the U.S. ski team and potentially had a chance to go to the Olympics. I was self-supporting by then, and so I ended up choosing to continue on college. I realized I wanted it, but it was too late. I missed the opportunity. The ensuing years of chaos and insanity and making poor choices and getting in a lot of trouble ultimately led me to be where I'm at today. The ski racing would have been not narcissistic, but pretty self absorbed and, and loved it, but uh, my path has certainly been much more productive in helping support other people's changes. However, working at Sojourners Alliance hasn't been smooth sailing by any means. Once while breaking up a domestic violence dispute, Steve was brutally assaulted and spent time in the hospital. There's a tenant living at the uh, rear unit there, and uh, some of the guys from across the street came up to me and said, something's going on over there. And uh, so I went down and checked it out, and the, the whole front window was broken out, like somebody had been thrown into it, although they said they had been moving furniture and just tripped. And, but, you know, you could see there was something going on. So I told them, I'm going to have to contact Steve, because something's going on here. You guys aren't being honest. Steve was telling them that he needed to get off the property and, and all that. And he said, well, I can't find my car keys. So I went in there. And I told the girl, I said, Devin, find his keys. He needs to get out of here. In the meantime, he ran out. And um, I heard a yell. And he had actually picked Steve up um, like this, like a wrestling thing, head first into the concrete. Despite the ups and downs, Steve continues to work to better his community and change the lives of those in it. Part of that motivation behind working with people is that if I can get through that, then anything's possible.